Alrighty, so you guys are selling that school. But you guys don't even know where to restock or get your snacks. What's the best stores and what's the best prices? And to make the most amount of money. In this video, I'm gonna go to a few stores and see which store is the best. Like and subscribe if you guys already have it. Alrighty, guys, so we're at Walmart right now, you guys. So these Skittles right here, 18 pack is $18.14. These prices have raised. Oh, nah, you guys. All these prices at Walmart has raised, you guys. So I don't, but that's really how every store is gonna have to raise up the prices. But that means more profit for you guys. Since you guys gotta raise up your prices, more profit for us sometimes. But look at all these prices, you guys. But Walmart's pretty decent because they got candy packs, and they got a few chips, and a few pastries, you guys. I'm gonna be taking this pack home with me because I don't know what store I'm gonna be going next. But let's see what store we're gonna go. Alrighty, guys. So we just pulled up to Smart and Final and look at this aisle. I'm trying to look for all the candy, snacks, chips, and everything. But I'm looking at these gushers, you guys. These gushers look pretty good. But I'm looking at the prices. Ooh, $13. I don't really know. But the good thing about Smart and Final, you guys, is that they don't need a membership. And they got candy packs and they got everything you guys would really need. Alright, so look at these candy prices. So right now, I just did maths. And it looks like I'll be earning like $12. So, all right, you guys. And I also forgot to mention the Rice Krispies, you guys. The Rice Krispies actually look pretty good. You guys most likely could sell them. All right. So, right now, I'm looking at gum, you guys. Gum prices are way too high. There's barely like any count in them. So, we're going to have to skip out the gum. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Do you guys see all these candies? Oh, my gosh, you guys. They got like every candy in there. Oh, my gosh. Like, they got m ms They got Reese's, Hershey's, Kit Kat. Like, everything, you guys. All these candy packs, 30 packs, like big sizes packs, you guys without a membership or anything you guys just need to go to the store and buy it but you guys have got to sell it for two dollars and you guys will probably be making like thirty dollar profit for you guys which is actually pretty good and not to mention some chips you guys they got all sizes chips they got big sizes chips medium sizes they got every type of chips all right you guys so right now i'm been looking at all these candies but this one caught my eye 17 dollars, you guys which is pretty good for a club size you guys it's 24 pack all right you guys so i just did the calculations it looks like i will earn 31 dollars, you guys for a 24 pack you guys i will be earning a good amount of profit you guys and it's above the 15 dollar limit you guys of profit you guys which is actually pretty good this other candy box caught my eyes you guys but the price is a little bit too high so i'll be only selling this one time you guys and i'm looking at all these other candies what's the difference and like i don't really see a big difference but i'm gonna take this one because most likely people will like these ones but it's an 18 pack so i'll probably be competitors you guys since i got more of a variety i will actually be taking these since they're on a weekly special but i'm just deciding which one i'm gonna take because this one's actually pretty interesting but i'm just gonna stick to this one because i'm pretty sure people would just like the normal ones all right you guys so i'm still looking at these other candies oh look at this one sour patch candies i know everybody would like these 21 dollars you guys ain't that bad I'll probably be making like $32 profit or something like that. So I will be actually be taking these home since they will give me a lot of money. What I recommend you guys doing for every candy you guys buy to always have a variety. So not just have always Skittles or M&M's. Probably put some Hershey's or some, any other candy that you think people will like. So you guys could have variety and people will That's come right, to you right. and buy but, more of you. Uh, look at these my tears. I don't really think many people will like these or Milky Way. My, my score is picky sometimes. Man, I'm looking at these Hershey's 36. Oh, but I don't think a lot of people don't really like chocolate sometimes because, like, sometimes it's melt, they got that much space in my bags, you guys. So, I'm looking at these other candy, you guys. They got like everything, you guys. I, I'm pretty sure Smart and Final is like the best place to shop at, you guys. All the chips, you guys, they got everything, you guys. I'm pretty sure Smart and Final is a top pick for me, you guys. So, I would go here every time you guys want to restock or anything. But some prices are a little bit high. And 24 account for tricks? What the heck? For the $40? Nah. This trick I'm not. Nah. I'm not going to buy them. But I'm pretty sure I would recommend these. The fun raising one. That's the most profit. Starburst. That's the best one. But sadly, I bought a pack of these at Walmart. Which was probably like the worst decision I made. But it's alright. Cookies. Like these famous cookies are good but i would, wouldn't recommend buying these here unless you guys really need to but i recommend going to uh, costco to go and buy these because so they're cheaper and you guys will make more of a profit oh my gosh you guys and this store has drinks you guys look they got all these drinks they got monster that oh my gosh look they even got look save 70 cents you guys i'm pretty sure they don't got prime there sadly not 
But look, oh, but these are sure, zero sugar. Look, this is the original one. Look, seven twenty nine. Pretty sure you guys can sell these for two dollars. And let's see how much profit you guys make. Alrighty, I just noticed it's actually an eight pack. And you guys, if you guys sell these for two, you guys will only make two dollars. So that's actually below the inflation line. So I would not recommend buying those. But look at these, you guys, four for five dollars. So let's go and see how much we can make with these. So if you guys buy four of these and sell these for, no, if you guys buy five of these and sell them for $2 each, you guys will only be making $3 profit. So it's all right, you guys. So let's see, you guys probably buy a bunch of these, but I don't know, you guys, you guys would need to actually buy like a pack of these and sell these for $2 and you guys will probably make a profit. So if you guys sell all of these for $2, you guys will actually be big be making a $32 profit you guys can you guys actually believe that that's actually insane you guys so let's go and see alrighty you guys so right now I'm looking at all these brands they don't have the honey bun sadly you guys so I'm not gonna buy any of these but because the only reason is 10 count for dollars I'm not gonna make any money for any one dollar 25 cents each you guys so that's way too much I'm not gonna be able to buy for you guys so I will be taking back home Sour Punch Watermelon, Airheads Extreme, and Sour Kids Watermelon. So these must be top favorites, most likely, hopefully. And uh, hopefully these all sell. $2 run, you guys. Alrighty, guys, for the cons and pros, you guys, for Walmart. So the pros are they got candy pack, chips, and drinks. But the cons are that they got little packs and the prices have raised. Now the pros of Smart and Final are that they got a larger variety big packs of candy also that you don't need a membership but the cons are they got a bit of higher prices than costco or sam's club by a few dollars like and subscribe if you guys want to see part two and comment down part two so you guys could see other stores and see which ones are even better than the smarter final or walmart